Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, um, one of the things that I want to talk about here is that it was about a couple of days ago where I heard on the news that the, I think it was the state assembly had passed a soda tax as far as that goes. And, I don't know. I'm kind of in the middle about that sort of thing. Because as far as when it comes to the whole thing with obesity, it does seem to be a problem, but you can't really go around and force people to be healthy. You know what I mean? And the thing is, you know, if you're going to have like a, ta a sugar tax on soda, as far as that goes, then you have to do sugar tax all around. And then you have to go around and taxing any other um, unnatural, unhealthy things as far as that goes. You know what I mean? But, considering all that, these are just people that are on the authoritarian left. Um, what do they call it? It's not really... It's part of that whole political compass there like the there's like these four qu quadrants so there's authoritarian left author authoritarian right libertarian left libertarian right so anyways so there are some people that i just strongly disagree with is more than ever is is authoritarian leftists you know because they just believe that they're just as bad as authoritarian rightists yeah. So, anyways, um, as far as that goes, when it comes to that, that whole tax there, you know, I think it was, they tried to implement it at, I don't know what, was it like Chicago, or was that Philadelphia, or something like that, and it didn't even work, and it also didn't even work in, uh, New York, I think, when, uh, what's his name? was there yeah but i mean unfortunately for for like the state assembly you know i'm i'm guessing somebody as we speak you know will probably try to get a proposition to overturn the whole soda tax anyways you know and it will probably most likely will pass because of the fact that there's people like me who are not really um, okay with that idea, you know, but believe that it's a, that obesity is a problem and that if they don't like sodas or something like that, then don't buy them, you know. Don't try to, like, price it out of people, you know. And then there are all these other people, you know, that, that just don't like... Uh, the government telling them what to do aren't going to come in droves like that sort of thing. You know what I mean? So, um, it's one of the things that I probably have a bit of a problem when it comes to some of these people like on YouTube, whether if it's Tom Hartman and uh, David Pakman about that sort of thing, you know, and the truth of the matter is, like, they end up getting all smug about it, you know. If I recall correctly in one of the videos about that sort of thing with um, Tom Hartman about that sort of thing. And then, you know, about that kind of issue there, he acted a little bit smug about that kind of story. You know, about like, oh, soon we'll be... It would have banned all the trans bouts or whatever it is, you know, but it's sort of goes to like the the previous video that I've recorded in some ways that I don't really think that they really believe in wanting to do that kind of stuff to make um, the environment better or any of that sort of stuff. They just want to be on their moral high horse as far as that goes, you know. And the funny thing is, is that I I didn't really even notice that that much about that people on the left could be 
this sort of way about it, you know, that they make these kind of stances of the environment or things like that, you know, just to be on a moral high horse, you know, and honestly, it's just, it's just sickening when you see people that are like that, you know, as far as that goes, but anyways, um, I guess that's, uh, probably it until next time, so talk to you guys later.